Hello and welcome to General Chemistry 1 at Yavapai College Online. This video will give you an overview of the course. Let's start off by looking at the syllabus. Depending on the section of General Chemistry 1 Online in which you enrolled, the instructor information may be different. You will be using an online textbook provided by Carnegie Mellon. Follow these simple instructions to access the textbook. The lab portion of the course will be accomplished by using a lab kit from Carolina Scientific, and completing some worksheets. All quizzes and exams will be online using Lockdown Browser. All quizzes and exams will be Open Notes, Open Book. I will also provide a list of reference documents that you could access online, which I'll show you shortly. A number of the questions in the quizzes and exams require that you show work. You show work on a piece of paper, take pictures and then upload the work into Canvas. The work will not be accepted by any other means such as email. The work must be uploaded into Canvas. And it must be uploaded into Canvas no later than 1 a.m. the following morning of when the quiz closes. So for example, all quizzes and exams close at midnight. You have up to one hour after the close time. There must be an answer in Canvas and there must be an answer in your work and they must be the same in order to get any credit for the question. If there is only one answer either in Canvas or in your work you will not receive credit for the question. I will provide this list of references for all quizzes and exams. You will be able to access these documents while you're in Lockdown Browser. Once you've purchased your lab kit from Carolina, you'll be required to take a picture of the lab kit showing the barcode. Click here for an example. Now let's take a look at the content of the course and how the course is set up in modules. There's a how-to section, which is very important for a number of reasons, particularly if you've never used Lockdown Browser before. But if you've never used Lockdown Browser, you must download the program onto your computer and you're going to access Canvas through Lockdown Browser, not through an ordinary browser such as Firefox or Chrome or anything else. There will be one assignment where you need to complete a spreadsheet using Google Drive or Google Docs. This video shows you how to share documents with your instructor if you never use Google Drive or Google Docs. Also, here's a link showing you how to upload files if you've never done that before. This video shows you how to generate notes for points. I'll explain a little bit more in detail about how to do that when I show you one of the content modules. In the Course and Study Resource module, there's a link to the study guide slash notes template. The study guide is the notes template, and the notes template is what you'll use to generate your notes. Take your syllabus quiz as soon as possible. Also, take the practice quiz in Lockdown Browser because it's worth points, and also it'll help you navigate to the resources while you're in Lockdown Browser if you've never had that experience of using references or anything else while you're in Lockdown Browser. Again, in order to take the quiz, you cannot take it in Chrome or Firefox. You must close all your programs, start up the Lockdown Browser program. But here are the three links that will always be available for you in your quizzes and exams. Now let's take a look at a content module. So in Module 1, there's one discussion assignment, and that is the only discussion assignment you'll have on the course. In every module, there will be a link to the Study Guides Notes template. And so we'll take a quick look at that now. And this is what you're going to use to generate your notes for points if you decide to do so. What is included here is a list of learning objectives for each quiz. And I'm not going to explain too much here because I have a video that does so, but this is what you're going to use to generate your notes. The more coherent examples and content and notes that you have, the more points you will earn. You will not be penalized if you do not generate notes or do not maximize all the points. Whatever points you earn for your notes will be treated as 100% assignment. Also included in each module is a link to a page of tutorial videos. This is one way to learn the content. The tutorial videos are aligned with the study guide or notes template. Under each quiz there will always be a link for optional notes. 
This is where you upload your notes and then you can access them while you're taking your quiz or exam. Not all quizzes require that you show work, but Quiz 3, for example, OLI Module Quiz 3, requires that you show work. So this is where you would upload your work by 1 a.m. the following morning, so you can see the dates. This is available until midnight, August 27th, and then your notes need to be uploaded by 1 a.m. the following morning, basically one hour after the quiz closes. Most modules contain a lab component. In Module 1, you'll have both labs to do from your Carolina kit, also a non-Carolina kit assignment. You will access your procedures and upload your data and answer questions through the Carolina Gateway. Thanks for watching and contact your instructor if you have any questions about the course. Best of luck.